Hey everybody, Superfluous J here with another Factorio for Beginners, and we are working on train tracks today. Uh, first of all, welcome to episode 50. <laughs> uh, second of all, I actually have some old business that I need to look at my notes for, and my notes are right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had some uh, a problem here. I, I put yellow science in the uh, in the queue here. Um, and I, I can't, I can't research yellow science. I don't know how, <laughs> so we can't, we can't research those. Um, let's see what else we can, uh, what, what we can research though is automation three. No, I can't do that yet. Cause we didn't want to talk about it. Um, I don't want to research anything that doesn't have a, that doesn't have a, a thing to talk about. Um, you know what modules I can research all these modules cause we've talked about modules already and we're going to want the, the, the level three modules, which are the highest here. You can tell because all three of the lights on the module are lit. Um, so uh, we, we're going to want to talk about those. Let's see. We've already got this in there. Uh, worker robot speed, I guess. No, that's yellow. So we don't have any more things to uh, to research. So when these things are done, we'll, uh, we'll deal with them. And nuclear fuel processing is pretty quick. Anyway, two-way train tracks. We talked about them a little bit down here. Uh, let me Let me flip my train around and hop in it so I can drive down here. Just go around this, go around this track and come up here. Now we don't have any, uh, we don't have any power down here yet, but that's not a big deal. And actually, I'm going to back up a little bit because I want to make sure that I have this set up correctly. Um, there's a, there's a limit to how far your trains can, uh, your, your tracks can go out. Um, if I want to make a little spur, this is the, the farthest distance these two tracks can go. Um, so if I want to do anything tricky. I'm going to want these, uh, the, the tracks that are side by side, I'm going to want them to be one more away so that I can do something like, oops, not like that. So I can do something like this where I can, I can have a, a train that goes around this without interfering with the other track coming the other way. Um, this is really just for me. Uh, this is something I like to do. And uh, I, I, I won't even say I like to do it. It's something that I, that I wanted to try. <laughs> so this is something new I'm doing in this in this series. Um, it's just something you can you can think about. Uh, your two-way tracks, you could set them up like this. You could set them up right next to each other if you wanted to. Not a big deal. Um, you can set them up however you feel is the best way. I like I like giving a little bit of space. I one of the things that I always do when I'm when I'm playing Factorio is I think about how much space I need and I and I add a little bit to it just to just to make sure that uh, that things go okay. Um, but anyway, two-way tracks. The, the whole point of a two-way tra train system is the trains on one side of the track always go one way. The trains on the other side of the track always go the other way, and they intervene or they they interfere, I should say, with each other as few times as possible. Um, so what we want to do here is we don't want anything on this side. We want to put signals on either side of these guys. And then we want a signal here and a signal here. And that, that way, if you, if you look at your signals, if we look at this, this whole section here, this little intersection is a block, this merge here is a block, and then you have blocks everywhere else. However, we need to talk about our chain signals and the chain signals. Uh, let me pull my train stuff down here. Uh, chain signals, you always want to, as you're entering an intersection, you want that to be a chain signal. So we want a chain signal here because we're entering this intersection. Likewise, we're entering this merge here. So we want a chain signal here. And then we want a reg regular signal here. And we don't actually want these signals here. They're too, they're too close. So that way, this guy won't go into this intersection here until he can get all the way out here. So he's not going to come in here and block somebody coming this way. He's going to he's going to wait here until he until it's free for him to get into this block. And then he's off heading off into his own area. Likewise, anybody coming this way to get into this merge, we want to put a chain signal here. So anybody coming from this way doesn't come in here and stop and then block somebody who could come this way. Um, likewise, coming this way, we want a chain signal here so that nobody comes in here and gets stuck like we did before, where somebody gets stuck here and then somebody can't leave because of that. If this guy just waits a little bit back here, then somebody coming out here could, could get out and leave and trains won't block each other as much. <laughs> They'll still block each other, just not as much. Similarly, we want a chain signal coming into this intersection 
and then the outgoing signals going this way so that so that this guy isn't going to go into this intersection without the ability to come back out uh which isn't a big deal when you think about it because if if he's coming this way he he if he's if he's turning here to come into this way he's blocking this thing anyway however if in the future We want to do something like this, where a train coming from this way can come in here, which we don't want to do this now, but we might in the future. Then a guy coming in here might uh, block somebody who who can come in this way or something along those lines. So we want to make sure that anybody coming in this way doesn't have a chance to, to screw up somebody who would be able to make it coming this way without, without doing that. So that means this should be a chain signal. This should be a chain signal because it's coming in. This should be a chain signal because it's going through here. This should be a chain signal because it's coming into this intersection. And then we should have regular signals here. We should have a regular signal here. And we should have a regular signal here. That way, anybody anybody who wants to go this way can just go because if, if somebody's blocking all this stuff, this will be blue. And if they want to come this way, they have to be able to make it all the way through to here before they before they're allowed through. And that's basically it as far as two-way train, train tracks are concerned. So let's go ahead and lay our tracks. Um, once we have this part, it, the rest of it's easy. Except for we get got to let the robots do the parts that uh, require deleting anything. And we also have to make sure that we, that we get the spacing the same. Now one way you can get the spacing the same is you can copy some train tracks. And then you can paste them up here. And then let your robots build them and then just make sure that you can make this corner which i can so we're good let the robots come back to me before i drive off because they'll get lost out in the wilderness and which is sad <laughs> uh oops i did my arrow the wrong way here and clicky clicky click and i am out of rails how much does that suck Okay, I'm going to fix this by taking some of these rails. Oh, I don't have enough rails to do that even. That's hilarious. I got to go back one more. Really? You let me do it now? Yes, okay. And then I'm gonna be able to hop in here, drive up here, then we'll just turn around and back down this, this alleyway here. Oh, apparently I turned the wrong way. There we go. And this is fine. We'll actually pull up here so that if the sulfuric acid train does happen to come down, he'll be able to, uh, He'll be able to park there and, and get his sulfuric acid. And obviously now the uh, notice all the the patchwork of um, of stuff that the robots aren't aren't laying down. They probably ran out. And I apparently hit alt. Yeah. So yeah, they're still. Um, it's interesting that they're. I guess they're doing it now, but maybe it just we weren't we weren't really paying that much attention to it. But. Uh, also, oh, I have my personal logistics turned off. There we go. Turn them on now. The robots are going to go crazy bringing this stuff. Oh, and I just remembered. I set this to 200. Uh, let's make it 100, 200. I don't really need 200 uh, of these things in my inventory at any given time. 200, um, when I say these things, I mean... Two hundred of quote unquote these things is uh, is uh, furnaces. Um, one thing that to note here is there's a reason why we're not getting these. Um, we're not getting the stuff built here, the cement, and that's the robots. We've only got fifty construction robots. 
However, only four of them at any given time are doing something which is weird. I wonder why. They're constantly coming down here. Are we really? Oh, you know what it is. We're not using concrete. We're using the expensive concrete uh, that requires concrete as an ingredient. I wonder if there's a way I can... No, there isn't. Because I don't think he can place something there. No, he can't. And this guy's running as fast as he can. He has speed module twos, which is nice. Um, so yeah, he's just running as fast as he can. And putting into here, it's just this guy needs uh, 20 concrete to run. And this guy makes 20 concrete in 20 seconds. And this guy makes his in 15 seconds. So it's just, it just takes that long, sadly. It's, it's, it is what it is. Uh, so we're not in any hurry to get this done. It's ugly right now, but when it's uh, when it is done, it'll be nicer looking. <laughs> so we'll just we'll just deal with that later. Um, <coughs> excuse me while I cough right into the microphone here and hop in my train and let's head back and continue our train tracks. Make sure we don't get stuck by the sulfur train here. Okay, back to the topic at hand. Okay, now we're definitely going to need the bot's help because there's trees everywhere. <coughs> so we're going to let them we're going to let them do their thing. And uh, what I'm going to do from here on out is there's going to be a lot of, oh, I think we have uh, the cliff explosives. <coughs> Darn it all. I think we have the cliff explosives in our inventory. Yes, we do. So the bot just threw one at the cliff there, which was nice of him. But once we get through this forest, uh, which we can barely see because of all the trees, we are going to um, decide how to run our, our line through the rest of the through the rest of the area here because we need to uh, we need to interact with the rest of the train tracks in the system and I'm gonna put it I'm gonna go right up to here and then I can I can actually hop out and we need to decide what we're gonna do because um, we don't actually want this train track anymore so we can delete all of these signals there we go. And this isn't a real signal. That was part of that other train. But um, we need to look here. And like I said, we want our copper to, to exit here. So it looks like probably the best thing to do would be to come up here, come across this way, and then down here, which is going to kind of inter interfere with this station. Or I should say this station is going to interfere with that idea. Um, but that's just the way it is. Sometimes stations have to get moved. So <laughs> we'll deal with that when the time comes. So we are going to continue this guy off this way and uh, what we want to do then is the same thing we did before which was set up our signals to go either way and we want a signal here going in or a chain signal I should say going in and then a regular signal coming out because we want to be able to come in here and then go out the other way likewise we are now making this into a one-way track or a, yeah one-way track but I'm not going to do that yet um, We'll deal with that after I've laid down this entire two-way track. So I'll let my robots place these as we go. <coughs> okay, and I think I can... Uh, Start laying them myself now. And the question here is, do I want to do I want to go on top of this one or below it? And I think the answer is I want to go on top of it for for my for my other track here. So let's go ahead and do this. And then like before, I'm gonna hit control C, copy a couple of these, and then we're gonna paste them right there so I know where to go. And looks like I want to come out one more and then make this corner. 
and let my bots do the work. Okay, this intersection's getting a little crazy. And it looks like we're going to be having some uh, some trouble with our <laughs> with uh, everything here. But we want a we want a regular interchange coming this way, or a chain one coming this way, and a regular one coming that way. Now it's all green, so that means we can go through it, and then it'll turn. Uh, these guys will all turn green again because now they can uh, they can get through there. <clears throat> Until I get this train track laid, I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna touch the other one just because I want the other trains to be able to do their jobs as we're waiting. Oh, I should wait for my bots. Always wait for your bots. <laughs> okay, now we gotta go way out here. Let them clear all these trees out. And I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna go out a little bit more like this. That and then we're gonna come when we come back we'll come back on this line. That way we we interfere with that train the least. So we can we can leave that station where it is <coughs> and have the the tracks kind of just go around it. Come on, robots. There we go. And I am out of train tracks again, which is super annoying. Okay, I'm going to leave the uh, the train here. Sadly, I didn't leave my car up here. How are we doing on power? Looks like we're fine. How many... uh we got 17 in there. That's good. We're almost halfway to the 40 we need. Uh, we're doing fine. We're using less than 50 of our uh, megawatts of power. So yeah, big uh, big train jobs end up taking up a lot of uh, a lot of tracks. Obviously, it's just one of those facts of life. <coughs> I don't even know where I left my. I love all the noises that the robots make. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, now how many train tracks will my logistics let me have? I'm requesting 400, but I'll take 800. I think I'm going to. Uh, I think I'm going to take all of the train tracks then. We should be fine for the rest of this stuff. Yeah, they're taking they're taking all the wood out of my logistic things too that my other bots took out of the ground which is fine <coughs> yeah I don't know where my I don't know where my car went my uh, tank oh there it is it's probably gonna take just as much to, to drive the tank up here as it will be to, to just walk up and get the train but it feels better if I if I drive a little bit, it's like it's like when you you walk out to your car to drive to the corner store. <coughs> okay, we can leave our we can leave our car there. Okay. Back in the train. Okay, then somewhere around here, I don't know exactly where, I'm going to want to do my drop-off station. Um, and I don't really need much for that drop-off station. It just has to be able to um, probably have at least two trains dropping off, maybe even more. 
And then uh, it's going to need to... Do I still have grenades? I should. I was asking for grenades. At least I think I'm asking for grenades. I guess I'm not. I don't have any grenades. How about poison capsules? I've got those on my bar here. My combat bar. I have grenades. I'm just not used to the... I'm not used to the symbol is the problem. There's my grenades. Okay. I haven't done this in a while. Feels good sometimes to go back to the old classics. <laughs> Throwing grenades around. Clearing space like our forefathers did. Okay, that should be good. So uh, I'm going to go into my blueprints here and take the train station. Now granted, this is a loading station and we want to unload, but it's basically the same idea. And uh, I'm going to put this as far over here as I can because uh, we're going to want, we're going to want, like I said, at least two stations, if not three or four. So I'm going to put a station here. Yeah, this will be fine. And then I'm going to want another station as close to it as possible. So we'll say, uh, let's go one more out so we have plenty of room to, uh, to work around it. Then we're going to want to run tracks from here up to here. Uh, let our robots do their thing. There they go. And that should be fine. Well, <laughs> my robots are now tired. And I can't pick them up without chopping trees down. There we go. As they get in this little clearing here, I'm picking them up. And then that instantly recharges them and lets them, uh, lets them do their thing quicker. Okay. Let them recharge. Let them get their thing done. Let's head up here and get in our train and then drive it around to that station that I just made. <coughs> and um, I'm actually going to pick up all this stuff. I'll leave the boxes. And I'm going to pick up all the... Actually, well... I'll do it manually here. Then I'll do this and say we don't want these or these. We just want the boxes and the train tracks. Because <coughs> instead of loading these boxes, we're going to be unloading them. And also, they're going to be steel boxes. But we don't have enough. <laughs> and we can't make any. Uh, we are making steel right here, though. So we might as well pick some up and make some more steel boxes. And we're going to want steel boxes in... Uh, Yep, we're going to want seal boxes at the other station, too, so. We should probably be making seal boxes at the, at the base, but oh well. So we're going to name this, uh, these stations here. These might still have the name of the other ones. No, they have, they have new names, but we're going to name this uh, Drop Copper. We're actually going to copy that name and paste it there. So these guys are both named Drop Copper. And that's a that's a trick here we can use that the trains won't care which station they go to as long as they go to one of them. And I'm setting up my lines so that we're going the right direction here. 
and then we're gonna head back and close off our close off our our route here and get the two-way track going all the way back and then I'm going to bid you adieu once I have that and we we get this entire thing laid down <coughs> Because then I'm going to need to fix the uh, the other path to be a, a one a one way. Uh, let's see, I went up too far. And I made that one go too far as well. There we go. Don't need that, and don't need. Oh, that's a. There we go. Okay, so what's the what's the rule when we when we come into a place, we want to chain signal. And actually, we're going to change the way this works because this is no longer he's coming in this way, and this is the out way. So we actually want this to be something more like that. But then we're going to want a chain signal coming in. He's going to want a chain signal here going in. And then we want regular signal coming out, and he wants a regular signal coming out. Let's get rid of these extra trees here. So we can see what we're doing a little bit easier. Likewise, we want a chain signal here coming in to decide which way to go, and a regular signal coming out. And that's it. Now this guy, other than the fact that he, he can't get on this train track, he should be fine. now. This way has been set up as a as a one way going the wrong way now. So we want to get rid of that. What we need to do here is we need a chain signal here. We need to delete both of these and we just want a single re regular signal coming out. Ah, it's annoying. <laughs> but I'm too far away to, to do anything. So now we're now we're set up. He can get back in this way and then leave this way. Our other trains can go down to that station and then come back this way. Then all we need to do now is coming back. We need to get rid of this because this is no longer a thing. We don't want to get on that line from there. We want to get on it from here. Oh, actually, that chain signal. Yeah, because this is now going to become a one-way track. We're still going to have a, 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 a two-way track here, but then from here on out, it's one way. So, coming this way, this is a chain signal. This can be a regular signal. Then we're going to have a chain signal here, a chain signal here, and then a regular signal here coming out. So now any train coming down here can either go this way on this one-way track or this way on this one-way track. Any train coming up here, yeah, we don't ever want them coming this way. So what we're going to do here is that. So we can come north on this line and either continue on this one way or go that way. This is getting a little bit more complicated than I, <laughs> than I wanted it to be, but that's just the way it works. Uh, we're going to want a chain signal here, chain signal here, and that's it. If we're coming south, we're either going to go this way or this way. That's fair. So we're going to need a chain signal here. That way we have we have this block up here, we have this block here, this block here, this block here, and then that was, yeah. Okay, that works. So this is now our south only line. So we're going to want a chain signal here. And then a regular signal here that tells us that we're okay to go now. Likewise, we're going to want one more crazy thing. We want to be able to go back up that way from down here so that he can, uh, he can come back up this way and that's going to be ugly. I think I'm going to cheat. And do it like this. Oh, that's what you get for cheating.
Let's cheat from up here instead of down there. There we go. And that. So anybody who wants to go north, which is basically that one train, is going to have to come up from here. This is going to need to be... Oh wait, I have this chain signal wrong. This chain... Aye. Holy cow! Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause while I fix this because I messed up some things, and I'll explain to you when I get back what I fixed. Okay, it wasn't too hard, um, but I, it had to get done. Uh, okay, so here's the deal: if you're coming from this way and you want to go north, like the uh, the ore train is gonna want to do all the time, you th this has to be clear, which it's not currently because he's in the way. And actually, I can fix that by putting a chain signal here. So it's blue now, so it would he would be allowed to go up here and leave. If you want to go south instead, like the copper train's going to want to do, you need to be able to go this way and then out. And all these all these things need to be on the inside, because uh, I like my signals on the inside. You can't quite see it, but there's a signal here that's currently green, because this uh, power pole's in the way. Um, meanwhile, coming up, you're either want to want to go north, like the, the, the sulfuric acid train is going to come up this way. He can come up here, he can go through this signal, and then from here on it's a, it's a two-way train track. Um, the copper train instead is going to go this way to go this way. Meanwhile, the, uh, the last thing that's going to happen is the uh, uranium train is going to come down and he's going to want to turn this way to head off this way and the sulfuric acid train is going to come to, going to come down this way to go this way. So now this track is completely set. The only thing that's left is that this is still a two-way track according to this down here. So I need to get rid of these signals and decide what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is we need a regular signal coming out of this intersection and a chain signal coming in and then we're good. That's the way the two way, the one way tracks work. So as soon as he comes in here, he's blocking all those, then he doesn't block anymore and then we're ready to go. And then this here is another a, another one way track coming out. So we're going to want to do we're going to want to tell you what, we're going to want to get rid of these trees. So you can see what's going on. But then we're going to want to run the track like this. This is no longer a two-way track. This is a one-way track. Let me just take all of these signals here. We'll figure out what we're doing. From here, uh, it's kind of tight, so I think I'm going to make this a chain signal. You can't come out of here until you can make sure that you can get through that intersection. Likewise, you can't come in here or here before you can get out of that intersection. Likewise, you can't come in this way without getting out. But you are allowed out of here if you're heading this way, through here. Meanwhile, coming this way, you better, you better be able to get out of here before you go in this way. But then, as long as you can get out this way, you're fine. And then that's it. We are now finally, <laughs> finally ready to head down to the other train station and uh, start setting up our actual copper train. Meanwhile, I'm going to be taking these uh, power poles down with me so that I can uh, get power down to that station. So that's all next time. I hope you're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed playing it. I'm Superfluous Jay, and I will, as always. Drive my train the wrong way <laughs> and talk at you later.